Hey, it's Hannah here, and this video shows Freckles' first go at going cross country. Now, he's done a bit of jumping up to this point. He's not massively experienced, so the idea was to make it really fun, positive, and rewarding. So you won't see any uh, big jumps or anything very exciting, but you will see how I introduced him to cross country for the first time. All right, so uh, we're off. It's a bit of a wet morning, um, but it's gonna take us about an hour and a half to get there. So hopefully it'll brighten up a bit. I met up with my friend Sophie there. Freckles and Sophie's yeah. Mare Elfie know each other, so it was nice for them to uh, meet up with their friends too. I was really pleased because Freckles unloaded really calmly and was, as you can see, was really soft and connected right from the start. But Elfine was a bit more excited and Sophie had to work on some circles and things to help Elfine calm down at the beginning. Oh, she's looking much calmer, much more connected. Yeah, she definitely feels it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that it's like always worth just taking that time rather than just going in a straight line. Yeah. Usually, just spending a bit of time doing some thoughtful things, getting yeah. getting yeah. them connected yeah. and thinking. All right, gang, heading into the woods. But well, that's nice because it'll give us some shelter from the rain. Yeah, <laughs> I was absolutely chucking it down this morning when I yeah. went out to get freckles. I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Come on, take it with you then. Good boy. You ready, babes? Good. Nice. Good lad. Yeah, there's some tree roots in here, aren't there? That's it. Still super. She's speedy. Nice job, gorgeous. So the idea with the jumps was just to make it really positive, fun experience. So we chose lots of little ones to, well, to start with, but all the way through, we just wanted um, both of these inexperienced horses to have a really nice right. time. So as you can see, we just we had over popped door. over the small fences and kept it really rewarding. Oh, and Elfine came into season the moment that uh, Freckles oh. arrived. <laughs> oh, she loves you, Freckles. Poor thing. Good guys, that was lovely. Yeah, who doesn't? She's got good taste, that's all I yeah. can say. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, you they did that really nicely. Yeah, that was nice. Good girl. Can we go step closer? So with the new fences or the bigger fences, we really wanted them to explore it first. So this was the first time Freckles had seen a ditch and I just wanted him to have a have a look at it really. I wasn't wanting to push him at all. I wanted him to really enjoy this experience. These were all sorts of new jumps that he had never come across before. Oh look, you can touch noses over the ditch. <laughs> How to make it a positive ditch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A good boy. Um, he's oh, only ever done uh, show jumps and a couple of telegraph poles in my field and that's it. So this was all new for, new to him. Now Freckles was a bit more um, anxious and Elfine was quite gung-ho actually. and She was quite Hi. pleased to have a go at, at different things. She's, she loves to explore. She's an endurance horse and um, she, yeah, she was quite up for having a go at them. <laughs> oh, there's a ditch. Freckles, can you look? Oh. Oh, I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I think so too. So, Good. with most of the jumps, we let the horses explore them first. Um, like as I say, they were under no pressure to yeah. jump. We wanted it to, to be build their confidence and to have fun. So they got rewarded just for exploring it, and then we had a go. You guys. But as you'll see with this one, That's Freckles was not sure at all. So no big. No big deal. I didn't want to make a, an issue out of it or get into a fight with him. If he said he couldn't do it, we just had a couple of goes yeah, and he always tries his heart out. So I know that he was giving me everything really? he could. This was a new fence, had a bit one? of a ditch in front of it. It was quite big. As I say, it was all new for him. So no worries. If he said he couldn't do it, he couldn't do it. We just chose the ones that he could. <laughs> Good boy. And I think this um, scary. I allowing your horse to say no in this way is quite unusual for a lot of uh, trainers, but I find that it really helps the horses to build in 
confidence because um, they never feel like they're going to be overfaced. And of course, you don't fight with your horse either. The two of you are always working together. And because I'm using rewards and the, because of the whole way it's trained, then they always really try really hard. So um, as you can see, he was super keen, really great with all of the jumps that he felt confident to do. And um, I want, want both of us to feel confident and joyful with whatever we're doing. And that way we want to do more together. As I say, Elphine was a little bit uh, braver than Freckles, so she got to do the um, bigger ones, nice. but um, it was really nice that they could give each other a lead when one of them was a bit more worried about the other than the other. Nice. <clears throat> you have to step down. Oh. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh, I think Freckles will do the step down. Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was brilliant, Frex. Yeah. Oh, see, it wasn't that scary. She led up, he led down. Yeah. Oh, Alfie, I was going to say. I'm not going to give you treats. I think that's, <laughs> you've got enough draw to Freckles as yeah, it is. Exactly, yeah. Freckles, that was super. That was well done. If you needed that lead, keep going. <laughs> Do you want a treat? That's good. It's quite nice that you can go up and down it any yeah. all different directions. Yeah. Hey, yeah. my them. So it was really beautiful. This was some a uh, couple of deer that were bounding around in the field. You can see the horses are, are watching them. It was an amazing ride. It was about seven miles and all. So I think oh, we were out for about lovely. over three hours. Now, unfortunately, I accidentally pressed uh, fast forward mode on my GoPro. Um, so this makes it a little bit sick making. <laughs> so there's not very much of this, but um, as you can see, we had a fantastic time. We were picking cherries from trees. There were these big open fields. We had some really good gallops. And um, again, there were some more deer here. It was all really lovely. But as I say, this is not very easy to watch. Luckily, we filmed some with Freckles um, with the phone. So you can see him having a go at some of the little jumps over here. So again, with the tires, he was like, oh no, I'm a little bit worried about that. And again, um, I was like, okay, that's no big deal. Let's go and, and have another go and see if you can do it this time. And I always really like to give my horses that opportunity to have a go a couple of times. And they nearly always uh, do it the second time if they can. And if they can't do it after two or three goes, then either we need to bring it back down again or in this yeah. instance, um, leave it for another day but he really enjoyed it and started to really build his confidence over these little fences. So we finished with the water jump and <laughs> neither Alpine nor Freckles would go in at the beginning which is quite funny because they've both done loads of water exploration <laughs> in the time but again we didn't want to make it a big deal so um, I hopped off and got wet feet to give them a lead and you can see that as soon as I'm on the ground it gives Freckles the confidence to go through the water. And once he was confident with me on the ground, then I mounted and as you can see, he was really happy to then go in with me on board. So again, this is a really lovely way to introduce horses to new obstacles. It's just low key, really relaxed, very rewarding. And you can just gradually um, build up the difficulty level. And as you can see, Freckles was um, really enjoying it. And I know that the next time we come across the water jump, he's going to feel much more confident and we stay connected all the way no. through. Yeah. that was amazing. Good boy. The grass was the most rewarding thing. <laughs> and then after Freckles had given Elfina a lead through to give her the confidence, she was also happy to have an explore and go through on her own and have a little go at the little jumps as well. As you can see, the for these two it was all uh, very low key. Well, time for a picnic at the end with a few ants because uh, Sophie first managed to choose a spot on an ant nest. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more about my approach, then please check out the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site. 
Over there, we have all of these home study courses, which are full of hundreds of step-by-step -step training tutorials, including full unabridged sessions, case studies, progressive training, and um, loads and loads of material there. Now, to build up to something like going cross-country, then actually there's quite a few different elements involved. So we've obviously got the foundation course, which is all about balancing the emotions, training from an emotional perspective, perspective, um, using rewards, all that kind of thing. But then we've got these things like the de-spooking course, which looks at basic de-spooking exercises, but then builds up um, progressively to teaching your horse about being confident and curious about novel objects, and then also being calm in new environments as well. And in fact, there's a whole case study there from when Freckles was a youngster about how I first started to introduce him to new environments and help him to stay calm and connected with me as we did that. The loading and traveling course, um, part of that also looks at the destination experience. So how do we teach horses to stay calm and connected from the moment they unload? And as you saw in this video, Freckles came off the box and was ready to be ridden. He was connected, he was relaxed, he was soft. And you can see some of that training in the loading course as well, where we look at um, teaching the horse to be calm from the moment that you arrive at your destination. Then there's also work elements from the gymnastic groundwork course about teaching your horse how to use their body, how to balance, becoming more body aware. We've got a course on jumping and obstacle training, which looks at, um, it's mostly groundwork, but looks at introducing poles and jumps to your horse from the ground and lots of different agility type obstacles as well. And we've also got, of course, the riding with connection course, which looks at um, a lot of the building the relationship and the responsiveness from on board. So there are lots of different, different parts, but when you sign up, you do get access to everything immediately so you can um, pick the bits that you and your horse need most. You can also get su support through the forum, through our study groups, Q&As, challenges, video reviews, podcasts, so we can help you um, with your horse as well as to find the right resources for you. If you want to find out more, please head over to connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about myself, Rachel and our approach. You can also find out more about the CT Club and sign up there too. And don't forget to check out our best-selling book over on Amazon. Just search for Connection Training and it'll pop up. So thank you for, again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and go and have some fun with your horse too.